sales. Uh, finally got in our 25 Hughes Alaskan this morning. Just got out the truck, we just unwrapped it. Everybody's been excited to see this boat. Uh, everybody knows Hughescraft's how they're built. Uh, the people at Hughescraft have said you know, this Alaskan is just a different animal, different beast, and it is. We're thoroughly impressed. Uh, the way I can describe it is like a Hughescraft on steroids. Uh, this here is the 25 Alaskan, full red paint. So as you can see, just the footprint of the boat, how, how actually big it is. Um, starting from the front, we got the anchor, anchor pulp up there. Um, just a really big, nice looking boat. Um, we're gonna walk around and go inside a little bit. On this boat, we actually have it powered with uh, twin Yamaha 200s and a 25 uh, Yamaha kicker. Some of this performance data with these motors will get you about 45 miles an hour in that range. Um, with one 200, you can get the boat up on plane, get back to port if for some reason your, one of your motors goes down. Trim tabs, self, self bailing cockpit here. Uh, nice rail on the side. A little bit bigger uh, cleats and eye holes here for your bigger uh, dock lines on that. So we're gonna be getting this thing uh, prepped, oiled up, uh, get some batteries in it run it a little bit and then we'll probably do some test rides on it. Uh, but coming inside, we got the starboard swim ladder and then the, the transom door, which uh, is, is similar on some other boats uh, that Heathcraft made, so the Ocean Pros and higher. But when you get in here, you can see it's standard with the uh, diamond tread plate in the back. It's a really nice, uh, you know, industrial looking finish here. Uh, a couple of trays on each side, some shelves, and lots of storage. Hughes changed it up a little bit this year, did a little bit different with the two access panel doors. Um, and you can just see actually how deep this boat is. We're going to be dropping in a couple of AGM starters in there. Uh, 40 gallon live well, just like our other boats that come in with the transom live wells. Uh, one of the things I, I noticed right away was just the, the storage in here. One, one on each side, uh, two storage boxes and uh, what I like what he used it they made it a, a spring on there so it's kind of can keep itself up as the brace uh, another one on the other side there uh, this boat obviously has got the back door all of the elastics come with uh, the back door and the uh, bulkhead uh, we opted for this boat to go with the second steering station which is going to be have our kicker controls here when we get that rigged um, we actually have the kicker linked up to your main, so whoever buys this boat is most likely going to be putting an autopilot on there. Uh, hook it to your main motors, steer it with your kicker on the back there. Um, changed up a little bit. We actually have, we do have a diesel heater on this boat. Uh, here's the three gallon tank to fill, to fill your diesel heater. The Wallace heater in there. More storage. A little bit more storage here as well, all lockable, um, so you guys can put away keys, fish hawks, maybe some fish finders in there for what, whatever you may need to put on there. Before we actually go inside, we actually put the uh, side ladder on this. So this is for anybody that wants to get up on the top of their boat, whether they're bringing stuff or storing stuff up top. I know a lot of guys out in Alaska, they use this for the crab pots. Moose, bear, I've seen loaded on top. Uh, you're going for extended extended stays, you can actually store stuff up here. Uh, we don't have them on yet, but there's going to be a couple rod holders on each side. And then stepping inside, the first thing I noticed when I got in here how big these bench seats are. So we got 72 inch bench sheets on this particular Alaskan. Uh, they fold into a bed, so this whole area here, as you can see, will turn into a bed. So overnighting extended stays actually gives you a lot of area for a bed. While I got that off, you can see there's the, uh, the diesel heater on that side with the exhaust port going to the outside. So that's where they actually have the diesel heater. This boat, we got the cutout here for your self-contained porta potty. So your porta potty there, privacy curtain. Um, 
and this boat we want the uh, trucker suspension seats. Uh, really nice option. We sold a few boats with these uh, trucker suspension seats. So we actually super, super comfortable. Um, you spend a lot of time on the water. You got the armrests. Um, kind of reminds me of Wicked Tuna style a little bit actually. Uh, digital digital uh, Yamahas on this or gauges. Uh, fusion radio on this boat, trim tabs obviously, uh, so we got the fusion radio there. Uh, one thing you'll notice is there is some really deep storage on this boat. This, uh, just dry storage here, then I'm going to switch spots here with Jason and we can actually see this actually runs the full length. So this actually runs the full area coming this way. So I mean this is lockable, but this goes all the way through. So you actually have some really deep, deep storage, uh, lock up a lot of stuff, gear. Um, so that's actually really nice. And then as always on the hard top, you always got a lot of storage in here. A lot of guys, I know I forgot about this a lot. You could actually fit a lot of things up here, spools, uh, some plano boxes, fishing line, uh, flashlights, whatnot. And then this here is kind of cool. What they did is they, so for the, the passenger and driver seat, they actually made box storage which you can get to from up top or underneath. So it's just a stowaway, some things you want to get at quickly, um, you could probably throw you probably put some life jackets in if you really wanted to, maps, uh, you know, extra clothing. So one of those on each side. More storage up front. The uh, fusion speaker there. And then one of our favorite features actually is to get to the bow. What Hughes did. So you got storage there. Really nice amount of, actually a pretty deep storage actually there. But they got this ladder to get to the bottom, make it easy if the water's rough. Um, you know, you got people trying to get in and out. Actually does a really nice job just making it easy to get in, in and out. This particular boat, we went with a windlass, all welded, all welded windlass on that. Um, the one thing too we'll show you is with the diesel heater you actually have the vents uh, on the on the dash what that'll do if it's really you know really cold you got a lot of people on the boat it's going to keep your windows from fogging up so you can turn on the heat get your uh, vents going and it's going to keep your windows from from fogging up um, like i said we're going to get this boat prepped ready to go this actually is a stock boat for sale uh, get a hold of us on Facebook, give us a call, 216-789-2419. Uh, Tim, Jason, or myself, Craig Lewis, we can uh, help you out. Uh, we do have this boat in our shop, so if you guys want to come see it, uh, get a hold of us, come take a look.